Hello everybody, I've had actually a few requests to show people how to use Gary's mod, which, as simple as it may seem, I guess it's complicated to some, which is why you're probably watching this video right now. Now then, all I've done is open the game, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven options. Okay, that's all you get. So, you have a one in seven chance of getting what you want. And based on what you want, you probably want one of the top two. So the top one, start new game, you probably won't get something like all this. You'll probably only get like sandbox with these two maps in it. Okay, and if you want to do that, that's th this is just playing by yourself, unless if you do like this. But that's a different video. Click in the description below to see how to do that, and I'll show you there. But this is not that video. This is for basics. But what most people are going to be wanting to do is going to want to f play together with other people on things and such. And so you should, whenever you click find multiplayer game, you'll go straight to internet. You'll probably first off get a bunch of things with numbers changing and things flipping around and just going everywhere. Give it, I don't know, 30 seconds, 30, 45 seconds and everything should stop moving and it should be slow and then you'll get just this you'll see the game mode how many players are on it and how many servers there are okay that's really all there is you'll see some game modes where you have a blue down arrow next to it that means you just have to download the game mode okay not all game modes need to be downloaded like Death on a Jailbreak, they don't need to be. But Murder and Prop Hunt, you have to download the game mode. I've already done that, but you should already have Sandbox and Trouble in Terrace Town already downloaded. So that's pretty easy on your part. And I'm pretty sure Dark RP has one too, but it doesn't have an icon, so, you know. Now Local Network, well, before we do that, you if you click on one of these, you'll get a list of servers. If the map is red, it means you don't have it. Like, I don't have that map, I don't have that map, or any of those. Now, if a map is black, that means you already have it. So you have a list of how many players you have, the server name, and your ranking. Your ranking is basically just what is the most recommended server for you. Let's say, I don't know, um, let's go to Death Run. We can go here, and I guess I could join the server, but one, I would be the only server a person on there. I wouldn't have that map, and I would have 500 ping. Okay, so that doesn't seem very convenient for me. If anything, I would want to join this, where there's already 15, 14 people. I have the map downloaded, and not only that, but I have the I have a pretty good ping. Okay, not great, but it's pretty good. Now, just because you don't have a map downloaded does not mean that should stop you from joining. That just means you have to wait, I don't know, 20 seconds to download the map. If the, well, it's depending on the map size and the server download speed. That's not all going to be the same. But, you know, there's that. If you already have the map, great, you won't have to download it again unless you get on a new computer. Okay, but now we can move on to local network. Wait, what? It's... It's blank. Is it loading? I don't know. What, what What's this? What, what does this mean? Is there, is there no networks near me? No, that's not what that means. That means that you aren't hosting a dedicated server on your own internet. If you are and you should be, then it should be right here. If you don't see it, uh, that's, that's going to be a problem. Or if you aren't the hosting a dedicated server, then you're in great shape, and you probably won't have to go to this rarely ever. Okay, and you can go to your history. Like, obviously, it's just all the his the history of all the servers you've been to, and your favorites. Click in the description below to see how to favorite a server, and I'll show you there. But here, this, this is just the list of your favorite servers. Okay, so here you have add-ons. And these are all the ones you've subscribed to, or also known as downloading, pretty much. For now, that's what we're going to call it. And right here is where you can download them. 
Now then, if you want a different way of downloading them, you can open up your workshop and you can search. You can look at most popular from this week. You can look up top rated of all time. And that would be Prop Hunt. That is actually technically an add-on because you don't originally get that. You can get player models. You can get, let's see, there's a playable piano. There's an Atlas player model. Uh, murder game mode. There's there's weapons. There's maps. There's items. There's tools. There's just about anything you can think of. Okay. Now, so that's all that. And you'll only be able to play those whenever you make your own here. Whenever you play on your own. If you play on any other, you won't be able to access those. But for now, that's all we need to do. That was part one. Go on and click to part two if you want to continue and see an actual, some in-game play. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and go on and go to that next video. Thanks.